Hi there, Brian with Anderson Pens, and today we're gonna to show you how to take apart and fill your Platinum Curados and take off the clip. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at the Curados and take it apart. Here's what you get. You get the nice Platinum box. Uh, I've got a gray tool here. We'll talk about that in a minute. minute. Uh, we've got a converter, the pen, the instruction book, and of course it comes with a cartridge. So let's take this out of the way. First thing I'm gonna say is, when you are doing any kind of the clip replacement, read the instructions. So we'll get to that in just a minute. We'll show you how this comes apart. So this just unscrews. And a little more complicated than uh, some other pens, but very interesting. If you like puzzles, this is kind of a pretty cool pen. So you see right here on this cartridge cover, there's a little pin and there's a track here. You push in and rotate and then the nib unit comes out, okay? Inside here, really not much to see. We've got this spring here, which gives us the tension. You can see inside another spring here, the trap door. Really this, not something you should be taking apart. This front piece does come apart. Um, it is just held in place by friction. I do not recommend you taking it apart. Um, we'll talk about the clip in a minute. To fill the pen, now we have to take this cartridge cover off the pen. So we have another little pin here that's gonna rotate and then we pull this off. And so then this gives us access to the rest of the pen. So if you have a cartridge, you can put it in here and we'll go back in reverse, put it in the slot and rotate it. And then it goes again in here. Now what you're gonna find out is you don't necessarily have to push this all the way up and over to get it to lock into place. You will find you can just get it started and it will slip over. Now, all that's gonna mean is if you do it that way, the first time you depress down on the knock, you're gonna feel some resistance there as it locks itself into place. After that, it's gonna go down much easier. So. If you just twist it like that and click it over, it's gonna catch just a little bit, but if you bring it all the way up and over, it'll feel just fine that first time. Let's take this out, we'll put the converter in. Same idea, pull it out. Converter just fits on there. Slide it in the lock, lock it into place. And there you go. And you'll notice the end of the converter comes out of the back of the cartridge cover. Now, if we look at how this part is uh, designed, we'll see when we screw this into place that when we press down, we're actually pressing on the back end of that cartridge cover to push the nib unit forward. So it doesn't press down on here, it presses down on here. All right, let's take the clip off. For those of you who find that a clip uh, is in your way or maybe you hold it back further so your hands are on the, the tabs here, uh, you do have the option to remove the clip. Uh, first thing I'm gonna say again is Come back to your trusty little uh, instruction manual here. And in the back, just take a look at these. This is what you're gonna do. So basically we have this tool. And if we take a look at this, we will notice that the sides of this tool are, are cut in. And what that's gonna do and we're gonna put it right here on the pen and you're gonna see how that slides in under this tab. Basically all this does is this helps prop up the clip so we can slide it forward. So now that I've propped it up, I am just going to move this and you wanna move it straight. You don't wanna to try to move it at an angle and move it out and it comes right off. So there you have it, you don't have a clip 
Uh, if you're the type that's probably never ever gonna put the clip back on, I guess you suppose you could, uh, you could polish this down. Um, but if you wanna put the clip back on, we look at the clip here. So we take this little V section here and it fits in here. Now I'm gonna set this clip on the cap and I'm gonna line it up with this tab. Now you have to be careful putting this back together because what you don't want is you don't wanna to put too much pressure on this end piece here as it might crack. Now I'm gonna take the tool and I'm gonna put it in reverse now and kind of holding this in place, I'm gonna push it forward and it's gonna lock the tabs in place. And there you go. The trick is don't use, don't use excessive force when you're taking this off and just keep moving it in a straight direction. So that's how you take off and put on the clip. Move it in straight. And then you'll hear it snap into place. So there you go. That's uh, how to take apart and uh, take off the clip on your Curados. So there you have it, the Platinum Curados disassembly and clip removal. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com or our stores in Appleton in Chicago. Thanks for watching.